And with the high number of people here losing their jobs and the fact that we lead the nation in home foreclosures, some people are getting pretty despondent. Now, suicide hotlines and counselors are working to help them through their depression. Channel 8 Eyewitness News is live. Amanda Hernandez joins us from near Maryland Parkway and Oki. Amanda. Well, Dave, many of us pass by these signs too often to notice them anymore. But for the former homeowners, this can be a devastating loss, really shutting out the hope that there's light at the end of this tunnel. Sometimes life can hinge on the sound of a bell as emotions follow the numbers from high to low. Economic challenges are leading some into despair and to the sound of a different ring. If you're in emotional distress or suicidal crisis, the lifeline is here to help. The crisis center has seen a spike in the number of calls brought on by the economy. They may have already lost their uh, positions. They're looking at foreclosures. Their whole world is changing. And so therefore, a lot of the callers are considering suicide as an option. Center volunteers work to come up with options, helping callers to look at things in a new way. Okay. Perhaps somebody is going to the store and buying food and not paying their rent. Well, it's a lot easier to get food from a food pantry than it is to get assistance with rent. Many are turning to the hotline because it's anonymous. Those struggling through economic downfalls often try not to burden their families, but therapist Claudia Schwartz warns that's when things become dangerous. People need to be asked and they need to feel that someone is there for them. People don't usually take their own lives when unless they feel alone or feel that no one understands. Swartz urges family and friends not to accept that things are fine and if someone appears to be depressed over the economy, understand it's a true feeling of despair. Like any other loss that someone might have, loss of a loved one, the, their loss of financial security, and that's huge for some people. Now the crisis center says that they've also seen an increase in the severity in the calls that they're getting. Most people admit that they either are considering or have considered committing suicide. Now the center hopes that as things continue to go downward with the economy, people will turn to them as a resource. Now if you want to talk to one of those volunteers, just call 211. For now reporting live, Amanda Hernandez, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.